Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome back to another Watch Dogs mod showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the New Game Plus mod for Watch Dogs 2. If you don't know what New Game Plus is, it's basically a feature in some games that allows you to, once you've beaten the game, you can keep all of the items and status effects that you've accumulated at the end of the game and basically restart in a new campaign and just kind of play on OP God mode. This game does a lot of that for Watch Dogs 2, but also adds a couple more tweaks, which I think are actually pretty high quality. So some of the features that this mod adds, all purple missions are removed, including loot trucks and CTOS boxes. You can skip the intro mission at any time by pressing F1. The credits page has been replaced with mod credits. A modified version of the E3 Nights mod is included that improves the overall look of the nighttime and makes darker interiors even darker, improving the effect of the blackout ability in the process. Miru's Black Net Hack mod has been added. Mission music in several missions has been changed, including the intro mission, which I'm not exactly a fan of. I kind of prefer the play and go song that would play in the intro music, and now it's just like the noodle music. But that's the only real issue I have with this mod. The difficulty has been cranked up to more difficult than realistic. Prices for weapons and vehicles have been increased. Vehicle directional hack and engine override no longer use any botnets. Blackout hack now has a larger radius that lasts for three times as long. The car on demand cooldown was removed. Time now flows in real time, so one minute equals one minute of real life time, which I think is pretty cool. Fast travel has been completely disabled. There have been a bunch of new items added to the clothing shop. The intro videos and epilepsy warning has been removed. Finally, getting to the actual New Game Plus features of this mod. After the conversation with Satara at the follower wall, you receive all clothing in the game, all weapons slash RC slash vehicle skins and paints, every collectible vehicle you can find on the map, every single reward, whether it be followers, clothing, research points, all at once, all the key data, and $10 million. So you can basically unlock all of the research skills in the skill tree. And yeah, it's been pretty fun to play with this mod, I'm not gonna lie. The vehicle override not requiring any botnets is probably my favorite feature. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Would you get this mod? Have you tried it already? Let me know, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.